have been doing. We have decorated the clubhouse to look like outer space. We're playing Out of This World. Outer space is so amazing. Did you know that a rocket ship is the only way to get into space? I'm building a toy rocket ship and I'm almost done. I just have to put on the last piece. They're so cool. Now my rocket ship is ready to fly into space. Count down with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <sighs> wow, a rocket is so amazing. It's just about the most powerful thing there is. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Oh, flying a rocket, are you? Hi, Ollie. Yes, I am. My rocket is so powerful. A rocket has power. Yes, it's true. But someone has greater power. Ho, ho. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Follow me through.
<gasps> Hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman, just out here on this beautiful day using power tools. <laughs> I love that. With the press of a button, I can... Ooh, have all the power! <laughs> but today's story is about the one who has the most amazing out of this world power. Do you know who it is? Do you want to help me build this story? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so like I said, today's true story from the Bible is about someone who has the most amazing out of this world power. Hmm, now I wonder, what kind of power we have. Like, do you think we could stop the sun from shining in the sky? Huh, let's try. Everyone yell, stop, sun, stop. Ready? Stop, sun, stop. Did we stop it? No. <laughs> well, we don't have the power to stop the sun. Hmm. Do you think we have the power to make it rain? Huh. Let's try. Everybody's gonna make it rain on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three, rain! Okay, stop! Look! Is it raining? Uh, no. <laughs> Do we have the power to make it rain? No, we don't have the power. But... There is someone amazing who does. Do you know who it is? Yep, it's Jesus. <laughs> One night, Jesus and his friends were on a boat out on the sea, and Jesus went to take a nap. All of a sudden, a huge storm came up. Ooh, ooh, can you make it sound like a storm? Now, rub your hands together like this. Do you hear the rain? Oh, and then it started to rain harder. Now, pat your legs, everyone. And harder. Pat faster. And harder. And Jesus' friends were scared. Now, show me your scared face. <gasps> It was raining and thundering and lightning. <sighs> and the boat was rocking back and forth. Ooh, can you rock back and forth with me? Oh, whoa. Ooh. So Jesus' friends woke him up. Help, Jesus, help, they said. And guess what? Jesus stood up in the boat and he looked at the wind and at the waves and he told them to stop. And the storm stopped. Jesus had the power to stop a storm. His friends were like, wow. Can you say that with me? Wow. Yes, they were amazed because Jesus, God's son, is out of this world amazing. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. See you next time. <laughs> so there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus is so powerful, he stopped a storm. Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Jesus is so powerful. He told a big, huge storm to stop, and it did. Jesus is amazing. I think 
I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Rockets are so powerful, but Jesus is even more powerful. He is amazing. Hey, Rocket, let's go launch to find my Bible so I can read more about Jesus. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Everyone who heard him was amazed. Luke 2, 47. Everyone who heard him was amazed. Luke 2, 47.